Hello everyone, in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to create an MMO style quest dialogue system that looks something like this. I already have my icons ready, but I'll be showing you how to add your own at the end of the video. Also I have my NPC and my player just to show you how it all ends up looking. Now in this system we'll be using XML files, which will store dialogue data to improve your game performance and the ability to load dialogues on the fly. Now to create an XML file you have to go into your project, create a text file and then press save as and write that XML and boom you have your own XML file. Now that you know how to create an XML file, we can start with coding and then we'll do everything in the inspector. First create a script called quest. Now you can copy and follow everything that I do or you can go into the description and there's a github link where you can download the entire project. Now this quest script represents a quest and it holds a reference to a list of nodes in the quest as well as the current progression in the quest. It holds information from the XML file that we created and that will be adjust later. This method will return a current node progress and it will move on to the next if it's possible. There's a bool where it returns if the nodes is different than null. And now we need one more method and it's for the loading the quest from the XML file. And with that we have finished the quest script and we can move on to the quest node script. This script won't need all of these imports or the mono behavior, just the system XML serialization and we have to write what will we later write in the XML file and that is the title, text, image and with a method to string. Now we move on to the quest manager. This is used to control interaction between the quest data and the UI. We first need to create a dictionary which has the key of a string and the value of a sprite. What that means is that the name of the sprite that you're using is the key that will enable you to use the value which is the image. It will make more sense later. The idea is to load all of your icons into a single game object and it's going to be this quest manager that we are creating right now. We create a range and the position of the NPC and your position. Now we have a private string sample quest which is used to reference what XML file we want the dialogue from. You will find that if you go to your project and find the XML file you created. Mine is in assets, resources, quests and the name of the file that you're using. Mine is sample quest XML. If you have multiple quests you will just copy that line and write whatever the name of your quest is for example sample quest 2 and change the location to the sample quest 2 as well. Now we need to make a method to load icons from sprites and a method to start the quest. This will also require the location of your quests XML. and in the update we check if the player has pressed the key, I put G and if it's in range and if it is start the quest called sample quest. Now we need only one more script and it's called quest display component. I will put it in the UI folder. It is used to update the dialog UI when the quest dialog progresses and hides the UI when the quest is complete. The last script that's left is the sample quest XML which I recommend you to copy from me and that way you're 100% sure it's written correctly. Now you can copy it from the video or go into my github and copy the file because it's really important how it's arranged and I will copy it since I don't want it to be wrong. As you can see you have your quests and then your quest title, nodes, node title, text and image. You can create more nodes by copying the node, changing the title, text or the image and you can have your dialogue as long as you would like it to be. And as you can see for the node image there is a sprite key which in this case is slayer but if you had for example a sprite named monster the key would be monster. Now we move on into the project to create and put everything together. 
first of all right click in your project and go to UI and add canvas. You can put it in so that it scales with the screen size. Then inside the canvas you can create an empty game object called dialog. Add a component called quest display component that we created and all of these elements we will create now and add an event trigger which will trigger the dialog to move forward. Now inside the dialog create a UI panel, call it dialog panel. And go back to dialog and make sure that it is bottom stretched. That way it will look nice, also you can adjust it to however you would want. I put mine a little bit off of the sides so it looks better. You can do whatever you want with it, you can change the colors, you can do absolutely anything with it. In the dialog panel you can make it however as you'd like as well. I put a source image of a background to round up the edges. But you can put whatever you'd like and you can make whatever you feel like it's natural for your game. Now add a component called horizontal layout group and put the child alignment on the middle left. Now click on the dialog panel and go to UI and add an image. Call it dialog image. I'll again add the background to make it extra nice, round up the edges, it looks really really good now. Add a component called layout element, set the min width to 100 and the preferred width to 100 as well. Now click on the dialog panel and create a UI panel again and call it dialog text panel which will hold your title and your text body. Add a component on it called layout element with the min width of 0 and the min height of 0 and the vertical layout group component with the padding all over 10 and spacing 5. Put this to middle center and check these three boxes. On the dialog text panel add two UI texts, one dialog text title and one dialog text. Now again you can edit these however you would want. You can put your custom fonts, you can have the size as big as you want, change the color, you can do anything that you want. I put mine size 20 and on the regular text I put my size 15. Now after everything is done go back to your dialog and link all of the components we just created. and create an empty game object outside the canvas called quest book and add a quest manager script. In the quest dialog element you put the dialog that we created inside your canvas and this is what I was telling you about earlier. You can add as many icons as you want in only one game object so it's all nice and tidy. I will put my slayer in here. The range is the distance from the NPC and from your player. It's the range uh, where you'll be able to press G to enable the quest and the NPC and my player's game object you just uh, drag them in. Go back to dialog and for the quest manager add the quest book and in, and in the event trigger put the dialog and find the quest display component progress node. This will actually progress the quest to move forward. One thing I forgot to mention is go to your dialog text panel and change the width to whatever fits your dialog box, mine is 500. And the very very last thing you need to do is right click UI and add an event system. This will allow the event trigger to work. You don't have to change any of the settings. Now we run our game and as you can see our dialogue works. Now I will quickly show you how to add more icons. I quickly made a matte icon here and go to your project resources icons and paste the image here in your project click matte texture type is sprite 2d and ui and click apply go to quest book and add another element and drag the matte icon since the name of my icon is matte go to your quest xml file and wherever you would like for your icon to show up you put the name of the file i put matte on the second and third dialog the first one should stay with the slayer let's see what happens as you can see the first icon is Slayer, if we move forward it's matte and then it's matte again. 
And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you can, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to reach that thousand subscriber mark. Also comment on what tutorial I should do next. Like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.